Josh here for Joy Modder X, and today we're talking about how to update to the MJ7 firmware and keep root. We want to say thanks to Open One Your One I Zero for coming up with this method. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we're on a factory stock image of MI1. If there's any mods that have been made or system related changes, we have to remove them first before we can take the OTA. The OTA will fail without it. If you're not on ME7 or MI1, don't take the OTA. You'll lose Loki recovery. Make sure you're on a fully stock factory image of MI1. If you head over to this thread right here, you can flash that via Odin. We'll make sure any of those system related changes have been removed. The next thing that you want to do is root your device on MI1. Uh, the best way to do that is to click on this thread and come over here to the Root de la Vega. Follow these instructions. You can watch the video that I made for that as well. Okay, and then once that's done, we are going to go on to step two here and restore one modded file back to stock. So the next thing we want to do is we want to download this zip file. And we're going to extract that file. And we're going to plug in our phone. Connect in media transfer protocol. We're going to copy the file that we just extracted to the SD card. It doesn't matter if you use internal or external SD. So we're going to go ahead and put it here on the internal. Okay, so we're going to use an app like Root Explorer and we're going to navigate to the SD card to the file that we copied there. And we're going to move that file to System Bin. Make sure we mount the file system as rewrite. And then we should get this warning that says the file already exists. And yes, we do want to override it. If it doesn't give you that warning, then you're moving it to the wrong place. All right, so now we're going to navigate down to the file that we just put there. And we're going to set the permissions. And you want the permissions to look just like that. And we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to navigate to SuperSU. And we are going to enable survival mode. Now you will have to purchase the pro version of SuperSU in order to enable survival mode. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our settings. 